Bam. Hi. April 30, 2023. <sighs> Notes. Uh, I failed. To start with, it's been two months since I started my agency. No sales at all. I had only one single client and that's it. I had to work for him for free. No payment or anything. What I learned is um, it's really hard to run a business by yourself. Yeah, that is really hard because I tried cold calling people. I tried to approach people directly like clients I tried to get uh, I tried email marketing email campaigns no nope, that didn't work by the way I know RJ boy and dear Tokwara Guisa watching this so it's okay uh, at the same time I found a sales job boom just like I wanted just like Alex Ramosi, I landed on a sales job. It will be starting this week. Uh, so sales job is good because it will give me a lot of good connection. It will give me the opportunity to talk to a lot of people, luckily. And basically I'm the boss in that job. Nobody's gonna supervise me. And it's gonna pay me more than Amazon job, like Amazon deliveries. That's the other only thing that pays a lot these days. So it's a win-win. I can work on myself. I can go to gym, have a good posture, and do the job. And I had to change my personality entirely for this job because the old introverted Alan won't work in this sales job. So I had to be that extroverted Alan who is good with persuasion which he is <coughs> and business lessons these are the business lessons I learned in the past two months first one is be not afraid of judgments even in this video I had like a slight feeling what if Roni watches this what if Abel watches this what if they judge even when I was running my business I was so skeptical and afraid of criticism from CJ he never criticized me but my mind is like never mind <laughs> my mind is like what if he criticizes you what if he doesn't believe in you so that is a problem don't do that in business be not afraid to take action always and be not afraid of judgments anyone's judgment so he didn't judge me anyways it was just in my mind Second one is don't give up in business. I'm not giving up on my business right now. I just need some money to pay my rent. So I'm crashing on a job. At the same time, I'll be doing my business on the other side. So don't give up. I did a lot of stuff, cold calling websites, advertising for websites, everything. Even if it didn't work, I'm not gonna lose my hope. From the start of this video, I said, I failed but that doesn't mean I'm a failure I failed in a lot of stuff but I'm not a failure and the other thing I learned is this is from Alex Hormos actually skills stack on top of one another that's so true because even after I did the cold calling I'm good with talking to people any type of people I'm confident to say my stuff even after approaching clients in their in their place I'm so confident how to enter into a workplace, how to keep the frame. So skills stack on top of that. And I did some advertising and I did some networking event. So it's all a win-win. And the last one is express yourself. The thing is like most of the stuff I share online, nobody understands it. Like a, a little bit people. Like that's because of my circle. A little bit people understands what the heck I'm saying. <coughs> like 5%, that's it. 
and I can count count them on my hand like Hari, Apins, my brother. Who is there? I think that's it. So because of that, I was unable to express myself because nobody understands and I was like, I don't want to be this weirdo who is showing off his stuff online, but fuck that. I'm gonna show off on Twitter and LinkedIn. So that's my platform. And I have to express my full self. And that will make me grow exponentially. Easy as that. Hope you